can I get AI to read this for me? Oh my god. Here we go, chat. The Twitch ban. Hello. I'd like to make a quick statement. Let's cut the bull. As you know, there's no filter with me. I've always been upfront and real with you guys on anything that I can help, uh, that I can be upfront about. And I'm always willing to accept responsibility, which is why I'm here now. First and foremost, I do want to apologize to everyone in the, my community, as well as those close to me, my team, and everyone at Midnight Society Game Studio. A lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with the Midnight Society and I, and we made it the painful decision collectively to, to have me step down. Our team is full of incredibly talented and good people that have high career ambitions and families, and I'd never want to jeopardize the culture we have carefully crafted. Everyone has been wanting to know why I was banned from Twitch, but for reasons outside of my control, I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations, I can now tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. Where the Twitch whispers message with an individual minor back in 2017, the answer is yes. Where there are real intentions behind these messages, the answer is absolutely not. Oh. Oh, 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 I'm just going to continue reading chat. These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes leaned too much in the direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. Oh, 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 no, chat. This is why I tell you guys, if it was a fucking a minor in your DMs, Bro, block that, block him and move on. There is no kind of interaction and something you can have in common with somebody who is on their age. You're grown ass men. You're grown ass men and women. What do you have in common with somebody that fucking still plays with the Legos? Anyways, chat, let's continue to read. Um, nothing illegal happened. No pictures were shared. No crimes were committed. I never even met the individual. I went through a lengthy uh, aberration regarding a civil dispute with a Twitch and that case was resolved by a settlement. Let me be clear. It was not a criminal case against me and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me. Now, from a moral standpoint, I'll absolutely take responsibility. I should have never entertained these conversations to begin with. That's on me. That's on me as an adult, a husband, and a father. It should have never happened. I get it. I'm not perfect. And I'll fucking own my shit. This was stupid. Now, with all this said, don't get it fucking mistaken. I've seen all the remarks and labels being thrown around so loosely. Social media is a destruction zone. I'm no fucking predator or pedophile. Are you kidding me? Anyone that truly knows me fucking knows where I stand on those things with these type of people. Ooh, that is very tough. That is very tough when you admit that you did inappropriate conversations with somebody who is underage. Yeah, you didn't go through with it and you're not really a, in quotations pedophile, but the fact that you were caught doing this and you admitted to it is not a good look. No matter how much you try to denounce that and how you try to paint the social medias for being jerks for coming after your ass, that is still really heavy to take serious after you engaged in an inappropriate interaction with a minor. Did he even know their age? Well, I mean, he doesn't need to say it. 
he he confessed to it yeah and he is also married by the way with a kid so i know what he's doing and though he is trying this in my opinion negates anything else that comes out of it it's like almost like if you're trying to say hey i'm not really a pedophile i didn't really do anything i love my wife my my kid um uh, the, uh, the social media is a big bad jerk blah 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 and it's like if they are social media is a bit back jerk but i mean i mean i don't know let's continue reading chat um uh social media is a destruction zone i'm no fucking predator or pedophile are you kidding me anyone that truly knows me fucking knows where i stand on those things with those types of people fuck that <sighs> That's a different level of disgusting that I fucking hate even hearing about. Don't be labeling me as the worst of the worst with your exaggerations. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Yeah, that means nothing. Yeah, I, that I don't you can't defend that chat. If you are really seriously sitting here and trying to defend that and you really still call him well ellie he didn't really go through with it sorry you can't you look like a fucking weirdo if you're really trying to defend that he engaged in inappropriate conversations with a minor he isn't a pedophile he just flirts with minors yeah <laughs> you know it's just like it, it really sucks and it's very unfortunate because i i i not knowing this guy much he just he can't defend this there's no way to defend this if you are trying to side with him and you are trying to like cover for him you are going to look like a weirdo uh, this lawyer sentence could be in a, interpreted from a cock joke to flirting flirt you shouldn't flirt with a minor you you shouldn't flirt with a minor yeah, there is like no way to defend this. I feel like people who are really trying to defend this right now, are, you have your bias. You shouldn't be talking about Cox with a minor either. None of it. You can't defend this. Like, anyways, let's continue, chat. Um, I'll give you my my full analysis after all of this. Um, let me see don't be labeling me as the worst there's levels to it too chat i'm not gonna lie there's a, a clear distinction between let's let's get this something straight there is a, a difference between doing going through with an act and then teetering around with the idea there is a difference both of them are shit both of them are shit don't get me wrong both of them are shit. I think you shouldn't engage in any inappropriate conversations with anybody that is underage, period. But there is a difference with going through with an act and versus these leaned into inappropriate conversations. There is a, there is a difference. But I think I've said what I needed to say regarding the ban itself. That's it. That's why Twitch made the decision in 2020. To my team, community, industry friends that have supported me, I apologize. I wish I could have said all this sooner. You guys have always showed me and my family love and support. Throughout all these years, we love you guys like you can't imagine. I have the fucking best community and circle. If any of this has made you uncomfortable, I get it. You don't have to support me anymore, but just know you have always been greatly appreciated. But trust me when I say this, to all my haters that live and breathe social media with zero life experience, I don't give a fuck about you. Finally, if you're uncomfortable with this entire statement and think I'm a piece of shit, that's fine. But I'm, no f I'm not fucking going anywhere. I'm not the same guy that made this mistake all those years ago. Again, admitting that it was a mistake. So there was, he's admitting to some wrongdoing. 
I'm taking an extended vacation with my family, as I mentioned on stream, and I'm coming back with heavy weight off my shoulders. They want me to disappear? Yeah, fucking right. Didn't he cheat on his wife, too? Yeah, but that's a, that's a whole separate issue. I don't know. Cheating is okay, chat. Cheating is okay. I just, I just want to put that out there. Cheating is okay. I'm okay with cheating. Yeah. I'm okay with you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, but that's a whole different subject. But yeah, you're right. I think I, I heard of him cheating in the past. Um, what if a happy family vacation that will be? Okay, so here is my um my take on this thing. People make mistakes. And I'm not saying it's okay to um to engage in any conversation in general i will always say this to the day that i die if somebody if you're a 20 year old man plus or 18 plus year old man let's say you're 30 he's this man is like 40 right if you're 40 what the fuck do you have in common with somebody who is 18 below there's like, I don't understand how you can be in that zone to begin with. So this is a public service announcement to any of you bozos out there. Just don't do it. Bro, don't do it. Block and move on. You have nothing in common. Just don't talk to people who are underage. Don't do it. Just don't engage there at all. I block the moment somebody tells me, hey, Ellie, I'm 17. Block. I don't care to talk to you. I don't have nothing to engage, no conversation that me and you can kick it with. I don't wanna care to talk to you about anything. So do yourselves a favor in the future, just block it. To avoid anything that could potentially happen, don't put yourself in a situation where shit can happen. I'll say that first and foremost, but people do make mistakes when, when that, you know, when you're left with the temptations and all this stuff, I, I, I can't say that I've ever been tempted, but, if that is something that can happen, it it would happen. Mistakes happen. I don't know this fella, and I think that 90% of the people who are judging him don't really know the type of person he is or who he is. 99% of the people who are judging him right now don't really know him as a person. We're only judging the context, this whole thing. And honestly, reading this back, it is a really hard to read him admitting to wrongdoing himself. He admitted that a lot of these casual conversations with somebody who is under age, a lot of these conversations that with someone with under age were teetering inappropriate status admission by himself. Now, anything else that comes after that, I think is irrelevant. I don't care how much you want to sit at the top of the, your scream at the top of your lungs that you're no pedophile. You engaged in pedophile-ish behavior by just engaging with somebody who is a minor and inappropriate conversations. Now, I could be wrong and there's way more context to this. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt that inappropriate probably is a fucking fart joke with some, you know, child. Um, sure, I guess maybe I need to know more about this, but I'm just taking it as, uh, as I'm reading it as surface value and him admitting that he engaged in inappropriate conversations with a minor is, is not cool. But again, there's levels to this. I don't think somebody who actually commits a crime and uh, hurts somebody is a minor is a very different thing than chatting up a minor now again i'm not excusing this behavior i'm just saying that there are levels to the severity here there, there it's, it's a, a levels to this yeah there's levels to this and we don't know much more than what is going on here so that's that's my that's my take on it. Why didn't Twitch go to the cops? I, mean, I don't know. Twitch probably is going to bring This is part 1 chat. Part 2 is coming because Twitch needs to uh, uh,
Twitch is in the hot seat now. There it is what it is. Uh, I'm not gonna crucify that guy though. I will still support him by watching his videos and stuff. Not because I agree with what he would engage in. I just think there's levels to this. Yeah, I think there's levels to this. The mental gymnastics in, uh, I'm seeing in chat, some people are going for fucking gold. Yeah, I don't care what, the, what people in my chat are saying. I think people are fucking stupid. I'm going off of what the doctor is saying. I don't care what excuses you want to give a guy who is admitting to guilt. It just makes no sense. Why are you defending a guy who is admitting wrongdoing? That's weird. He is admitting to wrongdoing, but you're trying to defend his admission of wrongdoing? What? That makes no sense. He himself is crucifying himself. Uh, respect for the owner, but still guilty, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, I mean, again, we are, we're humans and we made mistakes. I'm not trying to... Th did you say he edited it? Did he go back and edit something? He edited minor? He it used to say minor, but he removed it. What the? I am going to treat this as where their Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 27, uh, 2017. The answer is yes. I'm going to judge it based off of that. I think if you're a grown ass man and you are leaning into having inappropriate conversations with somebody who is a minor, I think you are admitting to guilt. And that's not cool. However, though, there are levels to this. Should he be stoned like somebody who is behind bars who actually caused harm, destruction, and havoc in their lives as a pedophile and is behind bars right now? No, I think there's levels to this. People make mistakes. I don't think it's okay, and I'm not saying it's okay to do that. I just think that people make mistakes, and this is a grown-ass man admitting to a mistake and not asking anything from you. As a person who is reading this, he's not asking you to come back to support him. He's saying he, he admits it. He fucked up, and if you want to support, that's cool. If you don't, I thank you for the years of support, and that's how I take it. I think he is admitting to it. He is saying that he was wrong and why am i going to uh, i'm not going to debate him <laughs> if the motherfucker is admitting to wrongdoing he did wrong period so he did wrong Ooh, ooh. ninja responded to the drama the doc situation saying a settlement no matter what it looks like publicly it usually means someone did something okay uh let's see what he said Involving me, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, and I'm just, I just got two things to say, and then we're just going to move on and keep uh -huh. playing Fortnite. All right. Fortnite? Ew, he's guilty. Number one, anything involving a minor at all, no matter what it is, like, is, is not okay. It's there it is. Messed up, and it's illegal, and it's, it's pretty simple. So, especially if you're... Shrimp? Don't you hit enter on the illegal part, shrimp. I don't care what it says in Germany. Don't you hit enter. Okay. All right, I'm not going to get too much into detail about that, but like, come on, it's, it's, it's a no-brainer, right? That's number one. But, and okay. number two, with the whole doc situation and um, just what's been released these last two days, like, here's what I'll, I'll point out for now. Backspace. <laughs> and that is... If you guys don't know, Midnight Society, who, who which is the game that Doc helped build, dead drop, right, and create, and he was a part of the company, did their own investigative research Get behind to the it, scenes, ninja. right? And I do think that the skepticism for this potential investigative research is warranted, but I'm not sure it's entirely accurate, because like whenever I think to myself, okay, you've been working with this guy for years, yeah. and you had no idea what happened, and then suddenly within a 24-hour window, you did an entire investigation and figured out the truth. I can understand why people would... That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, no, I understand that, but... He doesn't have blue hair. 
I don't think that necessarily means anything. Because I could very easily see how the opposite could be true too. Where as soon as the information is made public, they would know who to ask and what to ask about. And it's like, oh, okay, well now I know where to look, there it is. But I can see, it seems very, like, I think anybody seeing that, it's very reasonable to feel suspicious about it. And found enough, right? Found enough evidence to let him go from the company. Right, not like, not administrative leave, not, we'll address this later. Like, let him go after doing their own research, right? Yeah. After doing their own internal investigation behind the scenes. So like, if that's not enough, Right, evidence or, or, or enough to, like they found something is what I'm trying to say. Who and, would have thought? <laughs> I thought there was a possibility. That's as think? good as I, as a, I, I thought there was a possibility. I didn't, now, do, what I did didn't they... just say, nah, it's not true. I left room for a possibility of it being true. They find, who knows? And they could have also not done an investigation and just said this in order to distance themselves. True. All of these things are possibilities. Now, let's like I've, I've seen a bunch of clips out there. I've seen a bunch of stuff from XQC. Like you said, apparently there's more stuff coming out. So until then, it's only been two days in this situation. So let's just wait until we see more. But like, that's all I have to say. Ninja yeah, looks saying like a I Floridian. didn't do anything illegal or like there was no wrongdoing. I mean, a lawsuit at the end of the day, not a lawsuit, but a settlement. Because right? there's talks about a settlement. A settlement, no matter what it looks like publicly, it usually means someone did something, right? Or there was some truth to some enough truth. Right? You, you settle to cover things up. You settle to not let things get out there. All right, so I actually don't think that's a good argument against Doc personally because no, Twitch it's was not. Like, it's not a good argument. No, his, his contract is probably millions of dollars. So if Doc really did do something wrong, then it would be Doc settling with Twitch and not Twitch settling with Doc personally. Uh, that is the I think that's the big wrinkle in this in, in this whole situation that I can't understand. That's the one thing that I don't get. That's the Hello, missing puzzle piece Leo. that Hello, makes everything Co uh, uncertain. Just do your own research, look stuff up, and, and just let's just keep on waiting for, for some more stuff. I'm um, sorry, more evidence um, moving on in the future. But done with the drama. I didn't want to talk about this because I hate stuff like this. But, you know, it's being in the community, like a leader community, and, and same with the docking leader community, like, I had to touch on it, that's my two cents. Don't fucking text miners or do any of that shit. It shouldn't be that difficult. Um, just be a good person, man, and be a leader in the community. <clears throat> well, there it is. Hey, you might be new around here, huh? Well, hold your horses. Before you click off this video, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. As it does, help me grow as a streamer. Now do yourself a favor and do it, mister.